Good morning, Sunrisers. I'm Dr. Gettinger here at Emerson Animal Hospital, and this is our kennel manager, David, and he is holding Axel. Axel is a really, really sweet boy, but Axel gets himself into some trouble. He actually got into rat bait this last Saturday. His owner came in and was really concerned because he ate a bunch of different types of rat bait, and there are a lot of different types out there. One of the ones that we do worry about is if it has warfarin in it, and I know a lot of you have heard it. It's the old type of rat bait, and there really is no treatment for it besides supportive care. Um, the newer rat baits, we do actually have good treatment for it. So one of the things we have owners do is if they call and say, my dog got into rat bait or my cat got into rat bait, we have them bring them in immediately because one of the things that we worry about is them bleeding out. Um, rat bait will cause coagulation issues to where they either um, bleed out and you see bruising all over or they just can't clot their blood at all um, you know, on, a, on a smaller level. So we uh, had Axel come in and we ran coagulation profiles and he did have a little bit elevated coagulation which means his blood was taking a lot longer to clot than it should have. So for him because he had some of the newer rat bait we put him on vitamin K which is great. We ended up redoing the coagulation profiles 48 hours later and they've actually come back down to normal and Axel is doing so good. The owner said that he hasn't seen him be lethargic or seen any bruising or anything. He's otherwise eating and drinking good and as you can see here um, he is doing really good and he's actually in the middle of his treatment right now. But some other ways animals can get, their, get rat bait is not just from it being out but if a rat or a mouse has eaten it and the animal eats the rat or the mouse they can get rat poison that way. So just whenever you have it out, I understand um, that a lot of people have to have it out. Either talk to your exterminator or there are some things out there that you can put the rat bait in so your animals can't get to it because this is something that we can easily prevent. This is an actual picture of a box that you can use. You can put the rat bait in here and you see the rats or the mice can come through this little hole so that way your animal can't get to it as easily. But if you have any questions, please call us and I promise you your pets will thank you. WCBI Animal Health with Dr. Emerson was brought to you by Emerson Animal Hospital in West Point.